Good afternoon. So today I'm back again today. I'm always back with something. My name is Michael Randolph and I'm with the Center for Nonprofit and Community uh, Development. We're gonna be introducing Charles in just a little bit, uh, but let me tell you the class that Charles is taking. It's called um, Putting Together a Proposal, a Proposal Development. It does way more than a mere strategies that most grant classes use, we take it to another level. So I might have Charles to give a little bit what he's gotten so far, and more importantly, why it's so important that if you're a nonprofit, when you operate now, Dan, you have to operate from a perspective of knowledge to dance with the big girls and the big boys with the money. If it's a lender, a politician, an investor, no matter what the case is. So let me shut up. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you to Brother Michael Randolph uh, for your expertise. Um, we run a 501c3 organization, and uh, we were always in need of a grant or grant writer. So when I met uh, Brother Randolph, who specialized in teaching um, grant writing and stuff i knew i had to take this course because you know if you give a man a fish you feed him once but if you teach him how to fish you feed him for life so he's teaching me how to write grants so i don't have to rely on a grant writer ever again because that's what i'll be doing um for my organization and some of the information that uh we've learned uh so far in this course it is so life changing and 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 so informative, man. I'm telling you, um, you need to take this course if you haven't. You need to you need to give it, my brother, because he can teach and he will enlighten you in certain things that will always pop up when you're doing business. Some of the uh, things that I've I've uh, learned from him is that you know when you open up um, your grant and stuff, you got to have a statement of the problem. You got to find out what the problem is. You have to learn how to articulate that problem. And then, you know, there's systems and, and um, you have to use other tools um, that he's teaching us how to use the smart system, how to analyze stuff and how to break things down and how to communicate your problem to people that's going to give you grants. And then um, some of the other things is the vocabulary that you, that you learn, like using qualitative research, which is other people's opinion. And you do that by, you know, having a uh, 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 group meetings and, and sessions and, and find out what people are uh, or what they think about what you're trying to do. And then there's quantitative uh, research, which deals with numbers, facts and figures. Um, it's all about the numbers, it's all about, you know, uh, when you do your research and, and, and you know, uh, going to different organizations and find out this number and that number and percentages and, and how that's working whether it's city or school or whatever you're dealing with, you got to do your, your quantitative research. You got to get your numbers right. And then you have to do your qualitative research where you get other people's opinion about what you're doing. And then you have to find out if what you're doing is, if it's, if it's, if it's plausible, if it's, uh, uh, you know, feasible to do this. And if you're doing something that, that will impact the lives of people and, uh, you know, does it make sense what you're doing? And once you put all your research together and that kind of thing, then you'll learn how to approach the people and dance with the big boys uh, because it's all about the numbers, it's all about uh, knowing the language of the people that you're going to communicate with that's going to give you grants or people that you're looking to give you grants. And um, I'm telling you, it is so informative. And if you haven't taken his course, you need to look him up, uh, Michael Randolph. So I was so appreciative and you have me smiling. And let me tell you why you have me smiling. Cause you was able to show and articulate what you learned. That is you gave value to the class to say, look, when you're taking this class right here, cause it's all about investment. When yes. you're taking this class right here, if you invest whatever amount it is that you took that class, when you finish, you can get 20, 30, 40 times your investment. And we focus on that need to do investment, but I'm so appreciative of you uh, articulating uh, exactly what it is that, that you're getting from this uh, class. And it was important that we did it on the spot. 
you didn't prepare for this. I just threw the question out there because I like to be genuine um, in, in what I'm, I'm trying to do. So that being said, we're going to go ahead back to class now. Yes, get sir. busy. Let's get some more knowledge because our knowledge is our power. And like you say, this class teaches you how to talk to lenders how to talk to politicians, how to talk to um, investors, how to talk to the faith community, how to talk to those entities that got the moolah that you yes. can bring back to your organization. Because at the end of the day, what nonprofits do, and we always focus on acting like your business. So you articulate that strategy in terms of how does a business-minded Nonprofit operate, operate, and you, you, you articulate that very well. So thank you very much. Now let's go back and get some more knowledge.